Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everybody. My name is Hung Brownson, and I'm the Chief Architect and Lab Manager at our 3M's Corporate Research and Development Group. I'd like to share with you our journey today from scientific poster sessions to GitHub Global Actions, how we've accelerated our digital innovations. Some of you may already be familiar with 3M, but just in case, here's a refresher. 3M sells products uh, across nearly 200 countries with annual sales of $33 billion. We are a science-driven company with more than 115,000 patents in our history, and today with over 60,000 products, pretty diverse portfolio. A century ago, 3M's initial adventure into mining, uh, it was joked that our stock was not worth two bits shot of whiskey. Today, that single original stock certificate will be worth a half million dollars. Today, also, uh, 3M is one of 30 companies on the Dow. Our vision drives everything we do. It's authentic to 3M. It's an important part of our purpose as an enterprise. Technology advancing every company, products enhancing every home, and innovation improving every life. I'll start with technology. Here you see our technology platforms in the form of a periodic table, ranging from adhesives, abrasives, to micro-replications, to non-woven materials. Our digital elements, which include data science, sensors, robotics, modeling, and simulation, these were added recently to our periodic table. Yet, it's more than just the breadth of our technology that sets us apart. It's also how our scientists share and combine these technologies to solve problems in a variety of different ways for our customers. This is why we invest close to 6%, 6 sorry, 6 of our sales into R&D annually. It would be great to have 60%. So innovation happens when we combine various periodic table elements together with a deep understanding of our customers to develop products ranging from materials such as command strips, scotch guard, post-it notes, the optical film found in cell phones, to digital connected solutions as of late, such as post-it plus mobile applications, our connected smart furnace filters, and to connected IoT safety solutions for industrial customers. Perhaps many of you are already familiar with these products today in your daily lives, and you're probably using them. The breadth of our technology sets us apart from other companies. So how does innovation happen at this comp with these complex set of technologies? Well, it's a long time, three and folklore, that if you have a question, you can get it answered within three persons. If the expertise exists somewhere within 3M, someone will know someone who will know the answer. It is often that we collaborate via poster sessions. This is a long history where we print out a two by three foot poster with our research and potential applications. We then have folks walk around the room to learn and ask questions about current research and to take back to their own labs to see what other combinations are possible and what other innovation are possible. Somewhere at 3M, there's usually a poster session happening. With recent and COVID times, we've been doing this virtually via video conferencing. A challenge was posted to me a few years ago and how we can accelerate R&D and establish a culture of code reuse. At the time, we were also embarking on researching and developing new digital and software platforms for broader 3M adoption. Poster sessions were not necessarily conducive for this type of collaboration. The solution? We launched GitHub back in January of 2018 as a common repository in which users could search, store, manage access, and most importantly, leverage GitHub's collaboration capabilities to accelerate our software use. The result? Since then, we flipped the model from human interface to digital content first and self-service. We have broken up vertical organizations into horizontal content domains. Instead of having a one-to-one -one or one-to-many interaction, as with poster sessions, we have now moved towards a many-to-many -many paradigm with GitHub. We have put our training materials, all Squire training and user documentation, and even roadmaps into GitHub to collaborate on. We've extended GitHub from, to include our IP attorneys, IT security in the workflow itself to prove publishing public repos. 
why is this any different from other implementations? Let's go a little deeper with an example. So we had a challenge um, where we have a group of research scientists with PhDs in math and material science who develop complex physics-based FEA models, or what we call finite element analysis models. These models help to analyze and predict material properties, materials that you use in your daily lives today. We develop a platform called Model Hub that manages the complex inputs and outputs to run sophisticated models in a high performance cloud computing environment. At the onset, it was really difficult to onboard new modelers. Uh, lots of manual steps along with the challenge of using the cloud and a new tool set. Thus, it was critical that we had to remove such friction and make it easier for modelers to use the Model Hub platform. The solution, well, we naturally started with GitHub. We were already collaborating in the software world. So how do we onboard the modelers and the scientists? We developed a, a booster, which is an integration layer between GitHub and Model Hub and our cloud uh, high performance computing engine. Using GitHub as our self-service interface, modelers can create repos using existing GitHub templates to get started, which simplified th their adoption. They could upload their models, they could test their models using pull request, which was very powerful. We could deploy the models via webhooks into Model Hub. In addition, GitHub use issues and updates were being auto-created using our GitHub APIs, which then tied back to the models. How simple is that? By extending GitHub into Model Hub platform and using Booster as an interface with GitHub, we have drastically shortened the time it took for our modelers to onboard new models. From weeks to days, we've also tripled the number of models since launch, launching Booster with GitHub this spring. The results have been fabulous. We've accelerated our modeling platform usage, and more importantly, we accelerated our research. So stepping back for a second, um, we are now coming up on three years uh, to mark our GitHub launch. It's a fun to reflect back on how we've come a long way from that wintry January uh, 2018. It was a cold winter back in Minnesota. We have now organically grown through value versus mandates. This is really, really important as we cannot mandate innovation. We have now have uh, over 1,400 diverse set of users from software engineers to scientists, to modelers, to IP attorneys. It's often said that people vote with their feet at 3M. We have over 3,200 active repos of all kinds from software code to models, to engineering docs, to turning materials. GitHub has been used across our corporate R&D um, organization to a growing list of divisions and business functions. We are also extending our collaboration with well-known research universities via GitHub SAS. It's been pretty amazing I, that GitHub has helped us bring us closer together across our diverse communities and geographies at 3M. It's, uh, it's been an amazing journey. You know, for us to get to this point, of success, uh, we've had to build partnerships along the way with uh, key internal partners that may traditionally have been viewed as barriers. We've partnered with IT security and all things security related, from data classification to lo data loss prevention to external identity access management to two-factor authentication and so on and so on. We've also partnered with our intellectual property attorneys on licensing and approval process. One of the critical pivot points for us was early this year when we hosted Jason Warner, GitHub CTO, to come and talk to our CISO and our VP of R&D. These conversations really helped broaden our perspectives on how security and innovation were occurring across other GitHub enterprise users and customers and communities. It's been said that once you work through the two corporate functions that start with the letter I, in this case, IT security and electoral property, you are over the hump. And pretty much that's been true. But joking on the side, both these groups are really great partners. Our IT organization has been a great partner um, throughout this whole time in providing us with, the, with GitHub operational support. What remains are the typical change management challenges of user adoption of new tools and new processes. And many of our traditional scientists had not used source code control systems or processes 
or been exposed to these processes previously. So we continue to overcome and win them over with a more frictionless way of collaborating. And this has been exciting for not only us in our lab, but also for the users at large. Speaking of culture barriers, hackathons has been a great way to overcome them. The past two years, we've hosted an annual 3M company-wide global hackathon. This past summer, we've had over 800 persons globally participating across 10 countries. This photo was from 2019 when we could gather, but this past summer, it was virtually, was all virtual due to the pandemic. GitHub was at the core of that collaboration as both a platform and as a sponsor with training support and prizes. You would be amazed with what engineers and scientists are willing to do for a GitHub hoodie these days. And thank you, GitHub, for sponsoring and your support of these hackathons. Kudos also to the GitHub account team. They've been great supporters, Dewaka Gupta particularly. So to recap, uh, GitHub has helped 3M transform in a number of different ways by automating our three-person folklore. We still do uh, poster sessions today, but we've also complemented that with a GitHub ecosystem and a collaboration vehicle. We've enabled instantaneous collaboration where we couldn't do that with poster sessions. We've helped establish a culture of code reuse, which was our original objective, by the way, as we embarked on building these digital platforms. We've also helped to protect IP while accelerating our R&D innovations globally. And we've helped really to improve the way we work. And most importantly, we've brought us closer together across this diverse community of scientists and engineers. And because of this, we've accelerated our R&D and digital innovation. This is really important. And this has been an exciting part of our journey. I'm honored to be here today. And thank you for having me. Thank you, GitHub, for being great partners on this journey with 3M.